Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the OnePlus 7T. Now you can pick this up from OnePlus.com. I'll throw the link up in the description. The price on this one, 600 bucks. Now it comes in two different colors. You got frosted silver and glacier blue. All right, so let's go through all of the specs. For the display, you got a 6.55 inch fluid AMOLED panel with a resolution of 1080 by 2400. Now that's 402 for the PPI Patrol. But the most important thing about this display is the 90 hertz refresh rate. And we're gonna talk about that in a minute. For the processor, you got the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus with the Adreno 640 GPU. Now what does that mean in English? Flagship specs, bro, flagship specs. It's running Android 10 with Oxygen 10 OS on top, basically stock. You got eight gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of storage, and no micro SD card slot for expandable memory. For the battery, you got a non-removable 3,800 milliamp battery that features Warp Charge 30T. Now OnePlus claims you could charge your phone from zero to 70% in 30 minutes. That's incredible. For the cameras, on the rear, you got a triple setup. So you got a 48 megapixel wide angle, a 12 megapixel telephoto, and a 16 megapixel ultra wide angle. On the front, you got a 16 megapixel wide angle lens. Now you're getting Bluetooth 5.0, NFC, USB Type-C charging, dual speakers, on-screen fingerprint sensor, and did I mention the 90 hertz refresh rate? All of that for 600 bucks. Let's see what it is. Now on the side note, what's missing from my flagship checklist? No IP rating, no wireless charge, no always on display, no expandable memory, and no headphone jack. All right, so let's see what it is. Shout out to White Shoes, she got the day off. Now this is the reviewer's edition. One thing I wanted to mention, OnePlus, if you're watching this video, I think y'all should sell this presentation. Now, if this phone is gonna run you 600 bucks, sell this as the VIP edition, add an extra 100 bucks, maybe 700. I guarantee you, people will buy this because this presentation is ridiculous. All right, so you got a nice red box, OnePlus logo on the front. Let's see what it is. Never settle. Okay, how do we open this up? <sighs> this is tough. All right, OnePlus, a little tassel right here. Pull this open. Okay. <laughs> one one thing I gotta mention. Guess who just showed up to work a little bit late? Ladies and gentlemen, shout out to White Shoes. Back in the building. White shoes. Calm down. Alright, here we go. One plus seven T. Now this is gonna be the reviewers edition book. I'll read that in a minute. Let's see, you got a little one plus cleaning cloth. Let's see what else you get in here. Okay, now this is a lot of stuff. Okay, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I'll get into that in a minute. That might be the phone. All right, so you got some bullets wireless. All right, shoes, I'm gonna let you get this box in a minute. I just need you to calm down. This looks like, <laughs> what is this, a book? Got a OnePlus book. All right, we'll file that to the side in a minute. Let's see, a bunch of cases. I will right, we'll go through all of the cases. And that's pretty much it. Like I said, OnePlus, sell this presentation for 100 bucks. I'll buy it, and I guarantee you a lot of other people will buy this too. Let's get this out the way. Now this is gonna be your phone. Let me grab a little unboxing knife. What we got today? Tiger Tooth on deck, here we go. Rah. Even though it said open on the top, I know, I know. OnePlus 7T. Okay, struggles is real today. Okay, y'all can pause this and read it for yourself if you want. It is what it is. Slide this out. Okay. Inside. Now, OnePlus, I'm telling y'all, this is one of the best presentations that you're going to see. Okay, OnePlus troll stickers, usual books and shit. Pluck them and file them. That's it for that. Here's your device. Let's see how this looks. Okay. Let's peel this little stick off. One plus 7T. Let me do the smell test on this one. Mm! This one smells ice cold. I, this is that Glacier Blue, ice cold on this one. Let's keep it moving. Anything else? Okay. This is gonna be SIM ejection tool. Well, it should be right there. All right, popped out. You got a case. Now keep in mind, I love it when they throw a case in the box. Protect your phone from day one. 
your classic one plus red colored USB type C charging cable. And here's this big giant warp charge 30T charging brick. Now this is 30 watts, zero to 70% in 30 minutes. It's incredible. All right, so let's uh, power this up real quick. See if we got any juice. Now this phone does come with a pre-installed screen protector. Got your little teardrop notch, dual speakers. Let's see, on one side, here's your vibrate on and off switch. Power button, volume up and down. On the bottom, there's your SIM tray, USB Type-C, speaker grill, big speaker grill on the top. Triple camera setup on the rear. Now here's your OnePlus 7 Pro and a OnePlus 7T. So I know what you're saying, what's the difference? Other than the fact that the 7T is $100 cheaper, you are losing the Quad HD display, you're losing the pop-up selfie camera, and you're losing a little bit of RAM. Other than that, pretty much the same phone, you got that beautiful 90 hertz refresh rate that's gonna have your scrolling speed feeling nice and smooth. If you're heavy into gaming, Snapdragon 855 Plus, that's the gaming chip. Let's see, height wise, Basically about the same height, one plus seven, a little bit taller, but you're getting more screen real estate because you got the pop-up selfie camera on the seven. All right, so let me pause the video. I'll set everything up, then we'll breeze through the OS. Talk amongst yourselves. All right, y'all, so we back in. Now, just put my information in the phone, got everything all set up, and I'm gonna be honest with y'all, for 600 bucks, the one plus seven T is a major, major, major go one plus has done it again now when you buy this phone you get in a fast smooth lag free stock android experience it's running android 10 other than the pixel you ain't really gonna find that right now and you know you're getting all the latest updates for 600 bucks but if we here talking as friends if it was me and my money spend the extra 100 bucks and go with the one plus seven pro you're getting more ram more battery life, you got a quad HD display, and that pop-up selfie camera. All of that for an extra 100 bucks, that is a win. Now I understand if it was 200 or 300 bucks more, you might wanna save a dollar, but when it comes to a $100 savings to get more RAM, more battery, the quad HD display, and again, that pop-up selfie camera that's gonna put you on James Bond status, go with the 7 Pro. Now there's one more thing I noticed, between the OnePlus 7 Pro and the 7T, the curved display. Now this is subjective, some people don't like that, but me personally, I like it. This one has more of a flat feel to it. So when you're holding both of these in your hands, the OnePlus 7 Pro just feels more premium because of that curved display. And did I mention pop-up selfie camera for 100 bucks? Nevertheless, for 600 bucks, you can't go wrong. You got dual speakers on deck, Running the latest version of Android, Snapdragon 855, that's the gaming. Uh, 855 Plus, the gaming processor. This phone has the 90 hertz refresh rate. Now I know what some of y'all gonna say, 90 hertz refresh rate, what's the big deal? If you're not into gaming, you're still gonna notice your scrolling speeds is gonna be ridiculous. All right, it's just like when you go to the mall and you go to Cinnabon, you don't know what they putting inside of those Cinnabons, but you know it tastes delicious. Same thing, you don't know what the 90 hertz refresh rate is actually doing if you're not really heavy into all the nerd techs and specs, but just know that it's just gonna feel super smooth. All right, when you're scrolling on this phone, then you pick up your Galaxy, you're gonna notice the difference. All right, trust me. First things first, build quality. Now y'all know I gotta say it, this one feels so good in the hands, ladies, you know the procedures. Has that glossy feel to the back, not 100% matte, so you will get a little bit of smudges, a little bit of fingerprints, but not like all glass back design, like the back of an old iPhone that's gonna be 100% fingerprints. This one is a lot more, more smooth. One wipe down and you're good to go. Now there's a couple of different ways you can open up the device. No pop-up selfie camera, but you do got face unlock. And as you see for yourself, look how fast that is. Nice and smooth. But take a look at the OnePlus 7 Pro face unlock, pop-up selfie camera. That alone, I like I said, we talking as friends here. That alone to me would be worth 100 bucks. Just being able to go like this all day long and watch that selfie camera pop up and down, pop up and down, that alone for me is worth 100 bucks. 
Now you got your on-screen fingerprint sensor. Fastest in the game. Uh, you see that live wallpaper? That's pretty sick. But again, one extra hundred, one, uh, an extra 100 bucks, not only would, would you have the same on-screen fingerprint sensor that's just as fast, but now you're getting a quad HD display. Do the math for yourself. Anyway, of course you can swipe up, put in your pattern, your pin, do your thing. But that fingerprint sensor is ridiculous. No lag at all on this phone, all right? That's one of the things that impressed me so much about these OnePlus phones. Super smooth and no lag. If you're heavy into gaming, this is the phone that you're gonna want. Let's go through the basic toggles. Anything we need to check out. Of course, you got NFC. Okay, you got Zen mode. Now, I actually use Zen mode a couple of times on my OnePlus 7, on my 7 Pro. Zen mode is basically when you hit, when you activate this, I'll do it on, let me see, do I got my other phone yet? I got another OnePlus, let me pull that out of my pocket. Hold up. <laughs> this is a stick, of, stick of struggles. Matter of fact, I'll do it from, hold up, let me grab it. I, I just dropped them on the phone. I know, I know, I'm everywhere. Check this out. All right, I'm gonna open up Zen mode on this phone. All right, let's go to Zen mode. Zen mode, enjoy life, all right? So when I hit let's go, hit start, three, two, one, activate Zen mode. So now, for 20 minutes, I can't do anything on this phone except make emergency calls. No checking Instagram, no checking Facebook, no tweets, no nothing. Turn the phone off, turn it back on, it's still gonna be in Zen mode. Power the phone off, power back on, nope, you're still in Zen mode. That's a nice touch. And y'all see, this is my favorite OnePlus 7 Pro right here. The Pearl joint. Woo! All right, let's keep it moving. This one sticker right here been trolling me all day. All right, so that's Zen mode. Let's keep it moving. Anything else? Let's go to regular settings. Okay, let's go to display. Now, this is on max brightness. All right, so you do got uh, great viewing angles on this one. Screen calibration, you got vivid, normal, uh, vivid, natural, and advanced. Now, if you want to, if you go to advanced, you could change the color gamut and make this ice cold. You got your night mode, reading mode, video enhancer. Now, if you turn on night mode, that's gonna give you that yellowish hue. Y'all seen that a thousand times. Listen, now I'm not gonna go through all this stuff. You already seen it on the OnePlus 7 Pro unboxing. So no reason to go through everything. Matter of fact, let's just go to one more thing I wanted to show y'all. Let's go to customization. All right, now this one has, since it's running Android 10, you can use the swipe gestures, Personally, I hate them, all right? I just like having the uh, back button on the left, recently used apps button on the right. But full customization, you can change all your accent colors, change the tones, change the fonts, change your clock styles, your fingerprint animations. Pretty sick. I like this one right here. We'll leave it on that one. Uh, anything else? Uh, that's pretty much it. Let's take a look at the uh, web browsing speeds. Go to apple.com. Okay, now, I just, matter of fact, let me do this. Let me set my account up for the first time. We'll try that one more time. Okay, here we go. Go to apple.com. And there it is. Look how fast that is. There's that 90 hertz refresh rate. Super scrolling on deck. Recently used apps. Split screen multitasking in the building. Open up YouTube at the bottom. So you got YouTube at the bottom, Apple on the top. Split screen multitasking in effect. All right, so let me pull up a video so y'all can see this beautiful display and listen to these dual speakers. All right, so I got my Floss versus Black Rambo video. Check this out. Listen to these speakers. Cover up the bottom. Top speaker still nice and loud. All screen display. This is tough. This is how it's gonna look like when you're watching your videos. Look at this. I'm 
might, might be able to. All right, let's keep it moving. I got Versace. I do it high class. All right, so now let's take a look at the camera. You got a triple lens set up on the rear. Here's your World Star Hip Hop button. Press the power button twice. That'll activate your camera. Let's go through the different modes. You got video. Now you can shoot up to 4K, 60 frames per second. You can also shoot video in wide angle or telephoto. You got your regular photos, wide angle, telephoto as well. You got portrait mode and nightscape. Now if you swipe up, you got pro mode, time lapse, panorama, and slow motion. Now one more thing I wanted to mention, you do have super macro. You see that little flower on the top? So if you hit that, that's gonna put it in super macro mode. Now let me show you why that's dope. You see when you pull out a box and you got these little tiny words that you can't see? Pull out your phone, get it right up close, super macro, bang, check this out. Now you can read all those little words. You ever called your phone carrier and they ask you to read some little numbers like this and your blind ass can't see them? Pull out your super macro camera, take a picture, and you're good to go. All right, so let's take a look at some test shots. Alright, so let's run through the cases real quick. Now here's the one that came with the phone, basic gel skin case. It's gonna give you protection for the top, the bottom, and the sides. Slaps right on. Nice amount of resivity on this one. Slam Boy certified. All the buttons work. There's all your cutouts, buttons, cutouts, buttons. Real nice. Let's keep it moving. Next, we got the sandstone case. Now this is your classic OnePlus case. Y'all seen this a thousand times. Let's see what it is. Has that sandstone feel to it. Now no protection on the top, no protection on the bottom. We'll protect the sides and the back, but it's gonna give you that grippy feel to it. Got your OnePlus insignia. Cutouts line up. This one is real nice. All right, this is that classic OnePlus look. Sandstone. Let's keep it moving. Now I'm gonna save my favorite one for last. So next, we'll take it to the red. All right, this is that red red. I got a little tape on this. All right, let me grab a little knife. 
Hold up. Rah. Okay, so this is that red red. Now y'all know red is one of my favorite colors. I right, shout out to 6ix9ine. No, I'm not the head of the nine trade bloods. I right, don't tell on me. I just like red. This one is sick. On the inside, you got that Alcantara feel to it. This one slaps on. Now you are getting some razivity on this one. Has that soft silicone feel to it. One plus insignia on the back. All your cutouts, buttons, cutouts, buttons. Slam Boy certified. Oh, I love this case right here. Actually, this is the one I'm gonna rock. All right, this is that red, red. Let's keep it moving, we got one more. Now this is actually my favorite one. As much as I like the red, I'm gonna have to go with the carbon fiber. Check this one out. This one has that carbon fiber look to it. Of course, y'all know it smells like race car. Throw this one on. There's something about putting a carbon fiber case on a OnePlus phone that just feels right. All right this just feels 100% right. Same thing with the red. All right, you see all, all the red presentation? This one just feels sick. Now you're getting minimum protection with this case, but it's all about the look and the feel. If you're about that race car life, you need this one. Now I said this already and I'm gonna say it again. Y'all need to hit OnePlus up and tell them to sell this presentation. Now this phone is going to cost you about 600 bucks for this presentation right here. Keep in mind, you're getting the bullets wireless. These are going to run you about maybe what, 80 to 100 bucks. All right, so add 100 for these. That's 700. Maybe an extra 30 for each case, plus the exclusivityness. Sell this presentation for an extra 200 bucks. All right, so 800 bucks. You get the OnePlus 7T exclusivity edition. All right. I know me personally, I would gladly pay 200 bucks for this presentation to come with all of the cases, the bullets wireless. And if y'all just get y'all wanted to notice, this is a never settled book. All right. This is like a journal. All right. Every time you stun on somebody with an iPhone, you can write down the, <laughs> write down the date, the time, the place. Somebody pull out the iPhone and you shut them down. 90 Hertz refresh rate. Write that down. Keep a little log of all your flexing. Nice little leatherish book. Presentation is amazing. Anyway, let's wrap this up. All right, so overall, on a scale of one to 10, the OnePlus 7T is a major, major, major go. For 600 bucks, you're getting an excellent build quality, the fastest fingerprint sensor in the game, that 90 hertz refresh rate for the butter smooth scrolling. You're getting Android 10, all of the latest updates. You got the Snapdragon 855 Plus, the latest and greatest processor. No lag, no bloat, no gimmicks, 100% win. The only way you can win even more is spend the extra 100 bucks and go with the OnePlus 7 Pro. Both of these phones, triple major goes. Anyway, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about these. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time, 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know, stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready, no meat boys allowed. Oh yeah, special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter, that's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah, one more thing, I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm out. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock won the beam up. Enterprise out. Energize. Oh, <laughs>